Let's look at activity types in the CO module. Activity types are used to classify activities performed within the company by one or more cost centers. It means a cost center is performing an activity on behalf of the company and most of the time it's the cost center is performing this activity on behalf of another cost center. Some cost centers will do the work on behalf of another cost centers. So then we need to use activity types to trace this work. And these cost centers can also do work on behalf of other orders as well. It doesn't have to be only internal order, production orders and so on. And processes, the process orders and any other type of cost objects. So not necessarily for other cost centers. But most of the time, the cost centers, they do be work on behalf of other cost centers. So for our example, we'll imagine we have a cost center called automotive design. And in that automotive design, you have design engineers. And these design engineers work on behalf of all our main four product lines, which is our cars, bikes, vans and trucks. They have, it's their own separate cost centers. They have their own separate cost centers. And this automotive design cost center is works on behalf of all of those four cost centers. So the design engineers who are part of this cost center, their time or their salaries is we measure it based on the number of hours they have worked. And then we will need to allocate their number of hours, which is we can calculate the price for that, to the respective four product lines. So that will be a separate cost associated for those four product lines. Because the automotive design department will have engineers who will work commonly for all four and we need to somehow allocate their time or their number of hours. We need to put a pricing for that and we allocate it to those four uh, product lines. And how would you come up with the price is basically their overall expenses in this department or you can only look at the salary expenses also. But it's much easier to look at the overall expense of this department and then we divide by the number of hours contributed so we can get a rough idea of per hour how much the price. And in this department we'll have senior engineers a separate pricing for them and junior engineers a separate pricing for them because the pricing for them has to be different also. Senior engineers will be charged at a higher level and junior engineers will be charged at a slightly lower level. Now let's first go and see our design cost center. So we go to our cost center accounting, cost center master data, I'll just go to the standard hierarchy so it's much easier to see at that level and I'll click on change OKEON. -E That's a short transaction code. In the standard hierarchy also you can directly create the cost centers. So you can see my standard hierarchy is over here. I have admin group, human resources, IT, finance. These are my four different product lines and I'm going to create one more group called engineering. So I'm just going to create a group I'll give it a group ID called 105 and I'll call it engineering and save and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cost center underneath that. So I have engineering department here and under that I'm going to create a division called design engineering. That's going to be my cost center. So I'm just going to create that cost center now. Just right click that, create cost center. It will pop up. I'm going to give it an ID 105. It says design engineering. Just copy that, paste it here in description. Person responsible, I'm just going to give a name over here and the cost center category. Now here the cost center category is going to be going to play a major role when you're going to create the activity types. So let's select the cost center category now because in the activity types you can control which cost centers can use these activity types. So I'm going to choose something related to engineering. Let me see if I have anything like that. Services, management, administration, production, consultant, development, uh, service, material, social, selling, admin, exec. So I don't have anything called engineering. So what I'm just going to do is rather than creating a new one, I'll just select something closest to this. Maybe probably just use consulting for now. And then I'll go to organization. Just press enter to ignore the message because the next 
feel on organization tab you will enter the profit center